Hi everyone, my name is Chelsea Meese and I just finished day 18 of the 21 day fix. Um, I had to make up yesterday's workout because obviously life gets in the way so um, made that up but 10 minute abs isn't that bad. I actually really enjoy it. It's very intense when it comes to like crunches and stuff but it works. You can feel it. I like that. Um, I'm excited to be almost done. Three days left in this, and I'm loving the results I'm seeing so far. So, I'm going to keep on chucking. Um, I decided to go ahead and start week three over again, because I really didn't do much when I was on vacation, spring break, traveling the country. Um, I tried to work out when I could, and I tried to eat as best as I could, but I didn't feel like I gave it my all, so I decided to repeat week three. Um, other than that... Um, I would say if you have to make up workouts, just make sure that you're incorporating, especially with this program, make sure you're incorporating the Pilates and the yoga into it, that way that you're not exhausting yourself by just pounding your body, and make sure that you have that rest time. Um, <clears throat> so as far as Eat That Frog, I'm a little bit behind in this, but they're starting to match up in terms of, like, topics. So day 14 was put the pressure on yourself, take the initiative to do things that other people won't do. Um, there's 2% of people in this world who do things without a supervisor or a manager telling them to do so, and those people are called leaders. And so I want to try to become more of a leader. Um, they say to create imaginary deadlines and make sure you get um, your work done faster and helps you not procrastinate um, to where that you do get more done, you do get more accomplished throughout the day, and you go to bed with satisfaction. And... Um, Make sure you put the pressure on yourself instead of having others put the pressure on you. Take that initiative. Be a boss. Be a leader and do what you got to do. Day 15 was maximize your personal powers. Um, identify your best time of the day. I'm naturally a night owl. I like to stay up at night and I feel more creative at night. For some people, they're an early bird and they like to rise in the morning. For me, I am a night person, but I'm going to try to get into the routine of being up before 6 o'clock or around 6 a.m., so we'll see how that goes. Um, they say to, for five days out of the week, get up early. Sleep in on the weekends and take a day off. Just shut down. Don't answer emails. Don't do anything that you work related for at least one day of the week. And they say to do it for Saturday or Sunday. And then take care of your physical health. That maximizes your personal powers. You don't have energy. You can't be a legacy. So... And then day 16 was motivate yourself into action. This is talking about using positive self-talk and the importance of doing so. Only giving positive responses to things um, instead of worrying about um, complaints. And you're much more proactive if you're finding a solution for the problem. Um, and the quote that it said the le in the book that I found really interesting, it said, The last of the human freedoms is to choose one's attitude in any given circumstance. I think that's very important because that's the one thing that we do control is our attitudes. Um, life is 90% or 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to it. If you think about that in your day to day, you're going to understand that your reaction to things leads to more further, um, further things and like um, how situations are dealt with. And then it said optimists have four special behaviors and to become an overall optimist. Um, the four special behaviors are they always look for the good in things. They seek a valuable lesson in every setback or difficulty, so there's always a silver lining. Um, number three is they look for solutions to the problems instead of complaining about them. And then number four is think and talk continually about your goals. If you constantly have your goals in your forma, like in the forefront of your mind, and you're constantly going after them, or you have a dream board or something to remind you daily of what you're working for, you're going to get more done throughout the day, and you're going to want to do your best to make the best out of this life. So, those are more of a me and personal kind of thing. The next few chapters are about time and stuff like that. So, I wanted to group those all together, even though it's a little bit behind compared to my workouts. Um, but day 18, going well. I'm excited. Can't wait to see day 21 results. Um, for those of you doing the challenge, best of luck when we wrap this up. Um, some of you have already finished. I'm excited to see where we go with this. If you want to follow my journey, go to facebook.com slash Chelsea Meese Fitness. Um, friend me on Facebook or follow my YouTube. Subscribe. Other than that, bye guys.